In this video, I'm gonna talk about burnout, how to avoid it, time management, and life balance. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It is currently six o'clock in the morning in the Alvarez household. I got my coffee here and I'm ready to get started with this video. I'm gonna be doing this off script. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't really script my videos. I talk, you know, mostly from my mind, but uh, in today's video, I'm really gonna go ahead and just talk with you guys. Why is it six o'clock in the morning in the Alvarez household? So first and foremost, I'm filming this today on Thanksgiving day. It is the morning of Thanksgiving and I'm filming this for you guys so you guys can look back at this video whenever you need that inspiration and you know, of course, uh, some knowledge in balance, life and work balance and how to manage time. For those of you who don't know me yet and just got into my channel, I'm Ray Alvarez and I am a portrait and wedding photographer. I started my journey as an educator about two years ago and I started this journey as a YouTube photographer and content creator as of six months ago. So I'm pretty new here on YouTube. So welcome to my channel and for those of you who do know me I appreciate you coming back every single time to watch my videos So for those of you who know my wife is a makeup artist Her name is Kay Alvarez and she has a gig this morning that she had to go to it's a really quick one short one But it's a good one um, so that's why she had to wake up super early today and once she got up and started moving around I really couldn't sleep anymore so I figured I'd get up and get some stuff done and that brings me to the conversation of balance and This is what I'm practicing right now balance um, so what does that mean when you have a nine-to-five job, you know You go ahead you work all day and then you clock out when you clock out you go home to your family to your pets to yourself whatever that may be um, And you you clock out you're done, you know now you're now you're doing now you're doing life You're not doing work anymore. So you have a life and work balance when you're an entrepreneur and You do not work a nine-to-five you are working 24 hours a day 365 days a year um, that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to work literally every hour of the day, but duty calls and at any given point You might have to go answer an email You might have to answer a phone call or a text message. You want to make sure that you balance your life and work um, Very well. So with that being said, I'm filming this video right now because the Alvarez household is full of kids and, and wife and dad duties and husband duties and of course business duties so right now is the best time that I can film this for you guys it is quiet <laughs> it is quiet here um, and right now is the best time that I can film this for you guys so you guys can have it and, and view at any given time that you want um, so you know instead of doing this later when my kids are up um, or instead of doing this later when there's people here, I decided to do it now. So this video here today is for primarily for photographers and professionals, creatives like myself. Um, but this is for the photographer who is just starting out. This is for the photographer who has been doing this for a little while, is looking to grow. Um, but this is also for the photographer who either has felt like giving up or who felt like they need to uh, figure out a method that works for them because they're working too much and they're not doing enough at home with their family with themselves with their private life or you feel like you have no life at all because you're always working uh, so this is this is for you this video um, you know and, and it's mostly gonna be dialogue I'm mostly gonna be talking with you guys and you know I hope I don't bore you guys out of your misery <laughs> but um, but yeah, just th this is for you. I'm gonna talk a little bit about burnout, how to avoid it. So I know a lot of people in this industry who have hung up the gloves, who gave up photography. And I feel like there's many reasons to it. There's, there's many stories that people have. I also have friends who have complained about their lives being too busy. I have friends who, who, who are currently going through it right now. One of the things, one of the misconceptions that new photographers get, especially the photographers who are fin who finally found their niche, who finally found um, what makes them happy in their photography business, um, you know, they're, they're working hard. And don't get me wrong, work hard hustle your business like you need to do that there comes a time where you know what is too much you know I have a, a private Facebook group um, where myself and a lot of other photographers growing photographers new photographers always chat about things um, the link is in the description by the way if you want to join it so join us in a the conversation there but yeah I have a group and, and we discuss things with other photographers all the time and one of the discussions that was brought up was you know pricing and and pricing has a lot to do with balance because um, when you price things, you need to implement time. Time is your most valuable asset. Time is your most valuable resource. Time is everything. We run out of time. 
um, on projects. We've run out of time with, with things that we need to do, appointments. With time, you need to make sure that you're making the best of it and that you're using it appropriately. You're charging for it appropriately. So um, during that conversation, I mentioned the word balance and I mentioned the word, um, you know, not burning yourself out. What is burnout? Burnout is simply when you are no longer enjoying this. Uh, you are, it's no longer a passion for you. You're doing it for money. It's a job. And when work becomes work, when a passion becomes work, some people say that it no longer feels like a passion and it feels like a job. Um, you know, that's true and, and, and it happens to a lot of people. For example, for me, um, at this point in my life, this career of mine, I, I still enjoy it. It's, it's, I have a passion for it, I truly do. Um, and I enjoy photographing people, I enjoy creating memories for people, I enjoy capturing people's beauty and showing it to them and, and seeing that smile on their face. That, that makes me super happy, I have a passion for it. Um, is it a job? At times, yeah, it can be. But at the end of the day, it is a job, you know, and we have to commit to it. And because if we don't do this, then we have to go back and work a nine to five and be unhappy and miserable all the time. So a burnout um, is basically when you're working, 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 you're not enjoying it anymore. Um, you feel like giving up because it's, it's a job and you're not having fun. Um, and you're probably working many, many hours during the week and little to no time to yourself, your family and your friends. And so how to avoid burnout? I've said this countless of times to many people. Um, it is something that I live by and, and I think that you guys should take this with you and, and apply it to your business model. Um, so that way you don't go through burnout. You need to make sure that you price yourself accordingly so that way you're not working all the time. Now, what do I mean by that? So let's say for example, in the week you have 100 clients and you're charging those 100 clients $10 and you're charging those 100 clients $10 per session and you're doing 30 minute minis. This is again, this is just an example and that, that gives you $1,000 for the week. Now, would you rather do that? Would you rather work with 100 people for $1,000 that week or would you rather work with 10 people at $100 for that week? The answer is obvious. You, you wanna work with 10 people, make $100 per person for 30 minute sessions and make $1,000 that week. But truth be told, there's a lot of people who are doing the opposite. They're doing 200 clients. All right, let's not exaggerate. They're, they're doing you know a lot of clients, 50 clients, probably less um, a week at a very, very low rate. And they are overworking themselves. They're shooting, 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 going back home, editing, editing, you know, and, and, and sometimes they overdo it. They do more than they should with these clients because they have a heart, they feel bad for people, they love people, they love, they're having so much fun, it's a passion for them that they just wanna give away free pictures and free services. And that's not, that shouldn't be done. We shouldn't do that. Um, and there's people who are doing that and they're working, working, they don't have time for their family, they're always in front of the computer, they're always working hard and, and that's it. They're, they're getting burnt out. You might reach a point where you feel like you're not getting burnt out, trust me. You'll get there, you're gonna get there. So eventually that person's gonna burn out. And that right there is what burning out is. You, you're, you're working yourself too much, you're not having fun, you're probably getting paid Honestly, let's not do that anymore. Let's, let's raise our rates. The end of the year is here. Order, start off the new year with brand new rates. Raise those rates by $50 if you can. Raise them by $100. This isn't a pricing video. I'm not gonna discuss pricing or how much you should price yourself. That's a whole other video that I'm working on right now, but I just need you to focus on raising your rates. In today's world, in today's economy, we shouldn't be doing anything for free. I don't care if you're starting out. Your time is valuable. To me, your time is valuable to everybody else. Trust me, they will pay for it. There, there's people who will pay for it. Um, so going back to burnout, to be fully transparent, I went through burnout. Uh, once in my life and and I was really close to giving up, but I didn't I didn't give up I, I stood strong and I kept going. I spoke with a lot of my friends I spoke with a mentor of mine and eventually did, and this happened a few years ago I you know, I went and, and I spoke with them and decided that I Needed to raise my rates and the final conversation and the most important conversation was with my wife um, Kay Alvarez and we discussed what needed to happen 
and I went with it and I raised my rates and it, and it was the best decision I ever made. I raised my prices for my services and it, it's also a great decision because it gives me the opportunity to, to spend more time with my family, with my wife and have my time, have my family time. Quite honestly, again, being transparent here, I missed a lot in the first few years of my photography business. I, I missed a lot of my family events, family gatherings, things that I should have been home for. Um, where was I? I was working weddings, I was working events, I was working different things in the photography world, and I wasn't there. I wasn't too present in, in, in my kid's life or my wife's life, and it has caused issues in the past, and that right there is the reason I decided to change my whole business strategy and give back some more time to, to, to me, to my family. I know it's easier said than done, but that's just something that you really need to mull over and consider and kind of like weigh out the options and say, all right, look, I don't want to work on my weekend. I don't want to work Monday through Friday. I want Mondays off. I want Fridays off. I want Wednesdays off and Saturdays or Sundays. Now, I don't necessarily mean that at 6 o'clock p.m. on a Tuesday night, you need to close out your phone and close your laptop and not work and not answer clients and things like that. No, I'm not really saying that. You're an entrepreneur. You're running a business. Eventually, you're going to answer clients at 10 p.m. at night. Everybody's different. Some people are going to say, no, I shouldn't do that. And some people are going to say, yeah, I should do that. Here's the thing. Just be limited us entrepreneurs when we say we're working 24 hours a day it doesn't mean we're in front of a computer 24 hours a day or busting our ass somewhere 24 hours a day we're, we're just working you know we'll, we'll we'll attend our business and we'll tend to our clients whenever they need us um but there's also that 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 line in the sand that you draw and and you say no you know what i'm not going to respond to my clients at 10 p.m at night i'm going to get back to them at six o'clock in the morning eight o'clock in the morning when i wake up that's that's on you how you run your business just be mindful of that. All right, so I'm a little bit all over the place. And like I said, this is because it's not super scripted. Um, but yeah, so that's how you combat burnout. Be cautious of your time and limit your time and your availability to the outside world and your clients. I'm gonna be honest, business is not for the weak. Entrepreneurship is not for the weak. And what I mean by that is people who can't just hustle. They don't have that hustle mentality. And you know, they give up three, four months, a year down the line. That I really can't tell you, it all comes from the heart. Like I said earlier, I have a passion for what I do um, and, I, and I wanna make it, I'm gonna make it. I'm a nobody right now here in this YouTube world. I'm, I'm, no, I'm probably a nobody to, to begin with. It's probably like imposter syndrome right there, right? A little bit of that. Um, but no, you know, I, I know that I'm a good photographer. I know that I'm good, right? I'm not the best and I will never claim to be the best. You know, every day we learn something new. Every day I'm learning something new and I humble myself um, and, and you should too. Nobody's the best. There's there's no best photographer award out there. There's, you know, everybody's doing their own thing. And right now with the way that the economy is, everybody's working hard. Trust me when I tell you that. There's a lot of people who are working hard, including myself. I am a photographer who works with clients. So, you know, till this day, I have clients tomorrow. I have clients on Saturday. I have clients on Tuesday. Um, you know, and that's the cool thing about being a photographer is that I still work with clients, but at the same time, I'm here making educational content for you. Not only do I choose to make educational content for you guys and to, you know, take my time out of my day to film these kind of things, edit these kind of things, put them together for you, also work my job as a photographer um, with di different clients throughout the week and throughout the weekend sometimes. Um, but at the same time, I'm a husband and I am also a father. Time is really, really crucial for me um, and I have to manage it well. And that is something that I've improved on how to do um, by making my time limited for certain things and also raising my rates. So after that long conversation there, uh, that's how you, you combat burnout and balance uh, your life a bit here. So to summarize, I want you guys to work on your pricing and make sure that it goes a little higher this time rather than lower. Use that method so that way you get a higher paying clientele base, which means you're gonna get a little less work, but you're gonna get higher paying clientele, which covers for the time that you've lost. So I'd rather work with 10 people a week rather than work with 50 or 100 people a week and make either the same amount of money or more amount of money. Time is all we have, guys, and you just need to learn how to balance that well. It feels great, it feels fantastic not to be a slave to a schedule. Uh, for example, for me and, and my wife, uh, we both uh, live off of a calendar. Um, you know, anybody, anytime anyone says, hey, you wanna hang out on Tuesday? 
first thing we do is check our calendars to make sure that you know we don't have work or we don't already have something planned. Is that a good way to live? Absolutely, because everything is organized. Um, and maybe maybe I'll make a video on that one day, um, how to how to establish a life and and plan it with a calendar. Um, but that's also the way we work because of our schedules and the way that people can book both K's services and my services. Don't be a slave to your own schedule or your own calendar. Um, set aside time for yourself, set aside time for your loved ones and your family. Take everything I said and try your best to balance things out uh, because mental health is important because your time is important. So with that, I think that um, I apologize for being all over the place a little bit here, but that's just some, a message I wanted to get across to you guys, uh, especially during the holiday season where people are going through seasonal depression. I used to go through that as well in uh, back in New York where I lived uh, many, many years of my life um, because the season, for example, the wedding season was over. I needed to depend on other projects that would take care of me until the wedding season would jumpstart again. Uh, so trust me when I tell you, seasonal depression is real. Burnout is real. Take care of your time. Leave me a comment. I say this all the time and, and being that I'm new here, people are still not leaving too many comments, but drop me a comment. Tell me how you feel. Tell me what you're going through. Join the conversation or just tell me how I'm doing. You know, I, I look forward to your feedback. I'm, I'm doing this because I want to, uh, this YouTube stuff. I'm having fun doing it. Uh, and, and a lot of my friends and peers told me that I should do this a long time ago and here I am I'm doing it. So give me some feedback. Let me know I definitely want you guys to enjoy your holiday and have a very very good day today uh, With your family with your loved ones and, and just enjoy it and enjoy the upcoming weekend. I'll see you in the next one guys. Thanks for watching